We have Noxious and Raven, and we have an amazing, amazing match in front of us. Noxious, who is playing next? I don't know. You don't know? No, I actually, <laughs> don't. actually don't know. What? <laughs> no, I actually, I, I, was, so I was looking at the sheets. I was going to look at the sheets, but uh, I ended up uh, figuring, no, but I saw Six to actually move up. So I know I know uh, he's the one playing. Thank you so much um, for proving this is not pre-recorded. I know, it is not pre-recorded <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it is Six to versus Vasily. Um, I, you know, Vasily yesterday, we saw him play, and uh, the qualifying portion of it, was unexpected because at the end he ended up facing off against uh, Legendarian, which he didn't even have to beat. Yeah. Right. And Legendarian either. Like, it didn't matter if he lost or he won. I think in the end they were both uh, going to move through, so... It was a good test for him, though, because he was able to play on the big stage. Before, he was playing versus Sodalu uh, next to the Galleon, and then playing here. It, it's a bit different than just sitting there with the headset and with the, the public, because we don't have the public watching the match right now live. And it is a different feeling, so even though he lost, it didn't cost him anything, and he got the experience, which was really valuable. Yeah, but now he's playing the bit of a David and Goliath matchup, really, going up against Six so for his first uh, first round in the top eight. Is it? But I, I think the way he needs to think about this, and it seems to be the way you know his attitude is as a whole to the event, is that he's continually going further than he expects. So um, he's just got to keep that attitude and say, I'm playing against Six so one of the biggest names in Hearthstone and one of the best performers, and if I beat him, it's going to be amazing. If I don't beat him, then I've already got really far. Put on a performance that he didn't even think he could make it this far, never mind uh, to the top eight, but even through the qualifier itself. So yeah, that's he true. just needs to be happy with himself, not, stage, not get too stressed out, and he's right. gone. He's, he's done a good job already. So Absolutely. And you mentioned Sixo. He is a ladder god, and he has a couple of tournament titles under his belt, but he still wants to prove himself continuously and win those majors. We actually sat down with those players and asked them, what, are, what do they feel about this tournament? So let's watch that. So far, the tournament has been going really well. I went 9-2 in games. I didn't even have to show all my decks. So I think I'm in a good, pretty good spot for tomorrow. I think most of the players here are quite good. Um, I didn't watch other games. So I don't know what people from other groups play. I have to watch VODs and check that out. But so far, there's no lineup I've seen that I'm scared of. I've been traveling like every two weeks this year. So this is the last tournament. After this, we have a Christmas break and no more traveling for the rest of the year. So I really want to give it my all this last time, and I'm really happy it worked out so far. Hi, my name's Daniel. Uh, I go by the nickname Visual. Uh, originally from Australia, but I'm currently living in London, and actually I entered this competition through the UK qualifier, which I ended up winning. And here I am into the main tournament. I'm just absolutely ecstatic, just over the moon. I mean, I never expected to get this far, and. You know, win or lose, it's just a great experience and yeah, I'm just loving life. The biggest challenge is the professional players do probably understand the game a bit better than I do and just trying to bring myself to that level, which and I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. And, you know, I want to say, you know, I'm going to go and win it, but truth, truth be told, I'm hoping I can just get through at least the first best of five and just take it from there. Oh man, Visual is such a great guy. Yeah. He just wants to get to that level so fast because he's already here on the next stage. I have one night to study yeah. everything. <laughs> I wonder if he slept at all, and this is insomnia, so he might have he not. He might not have not. Yeah, that's that's true. But it was. Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of fun to see him being so happy to be there, right? Some, sometimes you you watch some interviews and people are kind of jaded. They're like, "Yeah, it's another tournament. I'm happy to be here. I'm gonna win. That's it." But it's it's like he he's feeling the uh, the rush that a new player experiences when maybe they get into the game. But now it's like his foray into the competitive scene. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And uh, Sixo as well. He was super excited, and uh, it was great yeah. to see Sixo happy about he advancing to the second day. And you know, as he said, this is the last tournament for him before Christmas. So happy Feast of Winter's Veil. And here he <laughs> <laughs> you've been waiting as all he punches weekend. people with Doomhammer, <laughs> no problem. Just like you have to say it as you're punching them. It, it, the thing is, it feels good, right? Happy Feast <laughs> of Winter's Veil. <laughs> and like the funny just thing down. is, like you can literally just. Sequence it to where you get, you know, turn one zombie chow, turn two mini bot, turn three muster, turn four shredder, turn five low thab, turn six mistress challenger, seven doctor boom, eight tier, and nine happy feast of winter veil. And you just finished it off. I brought all the and gifts. It, right, <laughs> I have it all. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it feels quite good. So good luck to him. Absolutely. And uh, Raven, who do you root for? Because obviously you, you might be rooting for uh, Visual as the as a UK, UK player. Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for him. Just to, I mean, it's, it's already a great performance. You know, he's already done all the hard work, and now I think at this point he should definitely 
play to win, of course. He should want to take the first place, but mainly he should just enjoy the experience because you've just got to say 6-0 is favoured, uh, probably massively, but Vigil's done pretty well getting so far. He had to go uh, get through top 16, which was, wasn't was exactly full of nobodies, so he just needs to carry on. He's playing decks that he actually played with in the qualifier, the online qualifier. He kept them all the way through the weekend, so he's super comfortable with them. He's not done any maybe like last-minute changes that some players might feel forced into. Yeah. When you get the option, you can change your decks if you want. Suddenly, like, oh, sh should I change my decks? Like, should I change any cards? And that might actually throw well, some people off. He actually can't change his cards because apparently, normally, he is playing on an A. And for this tournament, oh, nice. specifically, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he bought five packs to build those decks. He doesn't even have Dr. Boom in his collection. Yeah, it, it was, it's, it's a funny situation because, you know, we were saying yesterday, oh, he's the only player who brings aggressive decks. Wait, that, there's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, he has no cards. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, That's man. True. All right, guys. And with this, we actually have the game ready. So game one versus Vigil and 6-0. What are we seeing here? This is the Reno lock for 6-0 and, and Tempo Mage. Tempo Mage. Yep. And both players are bringing Reno Lock, right? Uh, yeah. So there's a chance we might see the Reno Lock mirror. It's actually interesting to see Visual bring Reno Lock if he just bought five packs. I'm sure, like, he bought it. It's because he doesn't need duplicates of any cards, he just has all the one ofs. <laughs> well, the <laughs> Fist Ogre, yeah, War Golem, exactly. Spider Tank, you get a you know, single GVG pack from that Arena run. Yeah. <laughs> that might be an interesting Reno Lock list. <laughs> it's very vanilla, right? Are you going to see it on all the deck websites now? Refreshment but, vendor but, but in other cards. That's super but here's cheap. the deal: because he's already in the money, he's like, I can put half of that in some card packs. Like I can at least buy the adventure modes, right? Yeah. So he bought all the adventures, I'm guessing, to get the good cards that's in them, yeah. like BRM, uh, the Nax, the, you know, every, everything he needs. And so all he had past that point was, how much of that already earned money do I invest in the packs to make the actual decks? It's, it's good so. point that you're ma mentioning money as well because he doubled from yesterday. Oh, Went there's a Doctor Boom now. What word? Dun, dun, oh dun, my dun, god, dun. he crafted it! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but yeah, I, you mentioning money, actually he doubled from yesterday, uh, right now into, into top 8, and if he wins versus 6, so he'll double again. If he wins versus 6, so he will be guaranteed to 2,500. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a good chunk of that's, money. That's right? really good that's money. A good chunk of money. He's, ha he's here, he's having fun on the local ground, and then just getting that money for winning versus also doctor. i don't think he's paid anything to be here because he qualified through the invite through well through yeah. the online qualifiers they invited him here to play the finals and then move on from there so it's a pure profit at this point exactly man jaina is taking quite a laser beating to the face all right so we see the dark peddler coming in secret keeper uh, that may be somewhat relevant but the young priestess really feels uh, like the best option no matter what. At any given point, whenever you can get something out of range of, say, Fireball or Frostbolt, that's a really big deal. That extra ping, if you can force it, it's a really, uh, really good deal. The Arcane Missiles is actually really huge here because he's fallen behind on board, and that's what you don't want to do is Tempo Mage, right? But, you, but yeah. next turn, he yeah. can go Flame Waker, Arcane Missiles. This turn, he's probably going to just be happy with them. Um, probably won't need to actually ping, but he should just be happy with the uh, Unstable Portal, I think. I don't, I don't mind the ping that being like I could go Sorcerer Apprentice on stable. That's one of the, the mm. plays, uh, and you're I forcing a trade. But the thing is, you're kind of wasting away the apprentice yeah. where you could ping otherwise. And I just think with next turn, because you're gonna take damage this turn, mm -hmm. then next turn you play the Flame Waker, I can missiles, and then you get the health from the Zombie Chow. So yeah. the pit, you'd rather use Absolutely, your mana this turn right. to play the portal, and it's done. Then even if you don't play the minion, you've, you've used your two mana on the portal, and you can weave that in a little bit later. And it he, makes he, sense. Yeah, the, the sorcerer's, sorcerer's apprentice just dies though. It doesn't because he'll find uh, Torin, master of disguise. Oh, that, well, uh, that's a minion. It's something. This is kind of, yeah, it's okay. Oh it's probably. Oh, okay. I, I don't like the arcane missiles though. Uh oh. Don't play the arcane missiles. Well, he might. It's just if you do that, then you. You just can't tell him ball. what to do, Raven. Look, look, shush. I'll try. He's an independent. <laughs> if he kills all those moment. minions, that's actually a brilliant move. Oh, oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> Epic. Okay. You didn't like it, he did. No justice. It's fine. <laughs> there is justice. Not for six, so there's not. V Visual is laughing. <laughs> Visual is like, I don't even need my flame waker now. <laughs> oh, the flame wonka. <laughs> Oh, not okay. doing anything. So, what options does Sixo actually have now? He can... Yeah, I mean, he's still uh, okay, what is the right? What is the secret? Do we know if it's Mirror Entity? It could be Mirror Entity, but it's Counter Spell. We saw it in okay. his hand yesterday. Yeah, there it is. Well, so what he can do now, he can Dark Bomb. The problem is that he will not be able to... He... Not great turn four. 
so maybe Dark wanted two free and played two one to contest the free two. The problem is Apprentice can be good if there are spells. Yeah, is, is what you're more afraid of one extra mana or the uh, the reduced of mana? I mean, what spell? does he play on five that he doesn't Ash, play on four in Ash that Drake deck? Yeah. That's the one card exactly. Yeah, I would I would I would like to see Ash Drake. Yeah, but the thing is, Shredder also is worrisome, assuming it's being played. But you're forcing uh, a ping. Right, so there's no... Oh, and he did draw Drake as well. Yeah, that was a good call. Well, there's still no turn four for Xixx, though, so if there's a ping from uh, Visual, he does stay ahead. And the fact that he didn't see that uh, Sorcerer is dying last turn, like the worst case scenario is Xixx has an implosion. Right? Mm. Like you ping the Young Priestess and an implosion comes out, you lose the Sorcerer, you don't have a spell, for the Flame Waker, and then things get a little bit difficult. Yeah, and for six, it's difficult already. Losing the Sorcerer here, you, you, you will have to hard cast some your Protector and probably tap. Well, tap first, unless he gets a 4-drop. Uh, that's not good, so you tap and then see what's up. Yeah, although he is curving really nicely from here on out. Yeah. And to be fair, he did have Zombie Chow into that Peddler, True. so it's not like he's been void of any early drops throughout the game. It's just they got cleared up by the, uh, the God Arcane missiles earlier. And this is the Reno Lock. It so is. As long as there's no board, he's fine. Like, right. I can take all the damage I want. Yeah. You do have to find Reno at some point, though, to feel ensure that finally you can life tap without being afraid of dying. Uh, yes, I, I feel like. Bought Farseer and Siphon Soul, so. Yeah. So, Visual here, yesterday we saw him play. He was overly cautious. Now, he did not make the trade. I like that. Yeah. This is already a step up from what we saw yesterday, where he started being a bit too defensive. Uh, well, realistically, as well, the way you beat Reno is, uh, as a deck like, as a, you know, any mildly aggressive deck, you beat Reno by just put pressure in them so hard, and then you kind of just hope they've not drawn Reno yet yeah. and finished the game. Because unfortunately, if you try and play the long control game, you will lose. Yeah. And it and the longer game just means they will get Reno. Whereas at least if you rush early, they just might not have drawn it yet. There's still 30 cards in the deck, right? So he's growing so fast. Maybe he'll. He did not get sleep. Shot. Yeah! Ash Ketchum, no! You <laughs> get shot for oh, six, no. so after all, I it did just not. go all the way through to the next year's BlizzCon Finals. <laughs> oh man, uh, so Visual is thinking here, you know, do I play the Flame Wakers, extend into Arcane Missiles, or, I mean, into Shadow Flame, that is, or do I maybe ping trade and play Flame Waker, you know, one of them? Like, how, how much do I want to commit damage to, uh, to this board? Do I even want to play the Flame Wakers? I think Ping Flame Waker might be fine because next turn you have at worst Flame Waker um, into Fireballs. Well, you so. you missed out on the four damage, right? Yeah. So after going face uh, and committing to that, be, I mean the Fireball double Fireball Flame, double yeah. flame Waker. This well, is amazing. Ping can go face. Perfect. Ping is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well done. Nice. Yeah. Run Bronze Beard. Uh, not much healing though. Siphon Soul is quite good. For healing. What would you need Siphon Soul for? So when you play this mage, you would, you would expect Dr. Boom at some point, but you do Antonidas. have to pick him Hunter. Yeah. And Antonidas. Uh, you might even expect Ragnaros, because we haven't seen all the cards, and Visual is a new player to the scene, and sometimes people play weird cards. Ragnaros is... Oh man, Rag is like... It's one of those cards in Temple Mage that you don't play around ever, but then that Sometimes one guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you, you, you look at it yeah. and you realize, well, that's basically impossible for me to win. I thought my BGH was fine with Dr. Boom. And out of nowhere comes that next BGH target that you just can't handle. Ah, that's... That's a tough turn. Yeah. It's a, there is one card, which is green. Yeah, it costs seven. I'm not sure if that's the one you're talking about. It, it's kind of weak to Hellfire, but if he Hellfires, he takes, you know, he trades, he Hellfires, he takes three plus the Boom Bots. Then suddenly the Flame Waker turn with Fireball yeah. uh, looks even better. If There's you had one, one more mana, right, I one would more. like Flame Waker, Mirror Entity, and then you just presume your ping is going to be enough to kill the low third. <laughs> right now, Dr. Boom is not even contested. So. I mean, and even if it were, you're still fine. You're still usually fine in a spot like this. And that means that on turn eight, Visual will be able to play Flame Waker, Frostbolt, Mirror Entity, yeah. if he wants. And what with the Boom get. Bot's damage, you know, spreading around. And well, here we can Bran into BGH to kill the Dr. Boom twice. Oh, that man. That could be a play. Next time it's drawn, <laughs> it dies again. <laughs> oh, that'd be so sick if that happened. Killing the Bone first to... Well, secure the BGH. It doesn't I mean, the, even matter. What's interesting is that now the BGH is played, Mirror Entity grows in, uh, in viability. Oh, goodness. Now we should see some fireworks. <laughs> yeah. This is, I mean, even the Drake being 4-6. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect, isn't it? 
There's no reason not to do, to do the play to clear, right? Uh, which is the play to clear? Just Fireball? Flame Waker, Frostbolt, Ping. Uh, or you could go again, you know, for the Flame Waker, Fireball face and hope that things line up and the Boom Boss end up being able to kill one of the, you know, one health yeah. minions. What about Mirror Entity, Frostbolt, and uh, obviously Flame Waker? Sure, yeah. you get four pings, the yeah. Boom Boss can finish off the job and you do set up the secret long before. Uh, Keeping hold of the Fireball late. as well. Yep. That's, that's your reach, like, that's the burn you need to actually finish off the game. Yeah. Don't you wish this had gone face? All right, so he's go. He's going for the flame waker now. Frostbolt into the four six makes a lot of sense. Even if it doesn't die, you will be able to finish it off next turn. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, shadow flame hits, but then you play the azure drain. That takes up a lot of mana from your opponent, and this is a really That's nice. That's really hit. good. Wow. Well, okay. No problem. Who needs targeted removal? But now Sixto can actually play Bran into Slut Vulture. Yeah, but then what if Azure Drake gets played? That's two card draw in a <laughs> deck like Tempo Mage. But you do have to make that play if you're playing around Mirror Entity, which I guess is exactly what's going to happen. Oh my goodness. Double Bran. This Azure Drake is so sick. Yeah, two cards. Can burst for 14. This one. Oh my god, look at that. And Frostbolt as well. Nice. A everything is lining up right now for visual. Draw two cards first, because you can. And then pick up another Balgrai. There's no, there's no oh. more, right? He might. <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> might be, <laughs> There may be one, but let, let's not. that battle cry, minion. <laughs> like, get that Nightblade. <laughs> get a Dark Peddler and just two oh, cards. Oh, man. <laughs> two Soul Fires, yeah, why not? One. Well, that Blame might get discarded. Two to face. Which kind of sucks a lot. Oh, bit. man. The same portal. Nope, not That's, what you're looking for. You don't want to play that. <laughs> but you're looking for that, though. This outcome here of the, uh, the Flame Waker is pretty much the best I think you could have uh, you could have hoped for. Dealing with Belcher easily and going for face as well. Yeah, lose that brand, man. You don't need that brand anymore. Brand did his job. No. Uh, but uh, that means the heal bot is a really big threat now that you see the brand bronze beard. It is. And nothing is contesting brand. Yeah, there, there should be a twisting nether here if there's no heal bot. Uh, Hellfire is interesting, but... Not enough though, right? Yeah, it doesn't change much. You double your axis. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just oblivion twice. You're just twisting that right here. Yeah, and uh, that does mean that Jaraxxus will not be healing 6-0 right now, based on what we were looking at. And this Ethereal Conjurer with a Pyroblast, it if, it, if it's there. <laughs> is it going to be a great card? All right, what are the cards? So you can't see it. It's Ice Block, Mirror Entity, and Arcan Missiles. So you what like a Entity, right? So I, I take Entity here, I think, against yeah. uh, the... Because I've seen Bran, I've seen BGH, yeah, I've seen the Zombie Chow. Ones. Those I've are gone. Peddler as well. Even Sun Fury. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the small stuff is gone. So technically, Entity should be the one. Mirror Entity gives you a Jaraxxus if it's played, right? True fact. Yeah, that yeah. does, right? I can, I can, it's uh, like 3.15, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that stuff. Like whatever is being played, you get it. And uh, you've seen a lot of small menus, but Hellfire is just... Really oh cool. my god! And he... That, that's so bad. That's great for Sixo. But no Fireball thing. top deck. Fire, fireball top deck finishes the game, and no. that's not a Fireball. All right. Now the question is, does Visual even care about this Sylvanas, right? No. You can't possibly try to deal with it, because you lose the game. So do you, you just play Mirror Entity? Gnome ping face. Yeah, looks like. Uh, Do you even bother playing the the sheep? Because the sheep makes you heal worse from the well. Mm. If it dies. What is the upside of the sheep? You might want um, at some point to just clean sheep, up. Some... Sheep, sheep is alright to to deal with uh, implosion. Maybe if there is one off. Yeah, the, see that's a great. Uh, yeah, a great mage as well, like sheep ping is actually, pretty, you know, the fact that you can activate it on the altar. here as well. Yeah. That's uh, it's pretty big. Yeah. I just like Entity, ping, uh, play the Gnome and just ping face. You absolutely do not Fireball Savannah. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness. That never <laughs> if I, Hey, you, I, I see you're at 12. How would you like? Light well. <laughs> Happy Feast of Wintervale. Winter <laughs> oh, is there a reason to ping Sylvanas? It, because he, he expects the, uh, the Warlock to heal out of the damage, is my assumption. Whether it's Reno or Draxxus. And so he's trying to weaken it over a few turns, but... But now Sixo can steal the well! No! Yeah, he can Demon Wrath his own Sylve and steal it. <laughs> you attack the clockwork. Oh but then God. you reversing switch the, the well, and it's no issue. Surely you just play Draxxus, right? If I'm, I'm going to be the, gonna be the voice of reason here, guys. All right, all right. Draxxus is the play. Okay, sure. I don't like it. I'm sorry it's a bit boring, but you just have to become a demon. 
Well, why not, right? Spell slinger. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it did happen a couple of times. Oh yeah, I know. I was on on Kibler's stream for about five minutes this month. And I saw him play Draxus, and his opponent played Spellslinger. I'm like, oh, you're dead. <laughs> That's and he didn't believe it. And always he died. happens. Yeah. Always happens. All of five minutes. Sacrificial pacts. What does Vigil need to draw into, really? Well, another, fi another fireball would work, because right now, Draxus is all the health that Chixo has. No more heals, yeah. So there's no more healing at the moment. Wow, with the. Oh, that oh, would be great! Okay. Whoa, whoa, yep. whoa, whoa, whoa. This Demon of Wrath, however, does spell trouble. Yeah. But, but you, you can't. But you oh, do you get can double play. fireball. You've, You've seen how fire though as well. You should probably explosive sheep now, ping it, then play Antonidas Finicky Cloakfield. That's the, you give him the light well, but you win. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the true. only yeah. play you have, and that's, it's amazing. That is an amazing play. Yeah. And the ping from this on the Sylvanas. Okay, not too. Finally you're right. working. You're right. <laughs> But I didn't expect it to you know, yeah, play out that way, of course. Good. But I'll it have, is insane. I'll have to say it escalated really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best combination of cards you could get. Like, yeah. oh, you need a fireball. Is he going to see the play, the, the factory of fireballs. I, I truly hope he, he sees the, it. The heal heals Draxus for nothing. For zero. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's good that oh, he takes his time. That's the sheep. Got to do it. Sheep, Antonidas, Finicky, ping. Whoops. Ping. Whoops. Oh, goodness. Please don't ping it. Go, go, ping. go. Oh. All Better right, be quick with the targeting. Okay. You got it, you got it, you got it. Really good play from Visual there. Yeah. It is a the play, and now 6-0 may find that a Shadow Flame is enough to deal, you know, oh, it's, it's one short, right? You can Hero Power, Shadow Flame is one short of actually killing yeah, Demon Wrath. Oh, it, it could work. Dr. Boom, Demon Wrath could kill oh. Antonidas. Whoa. Oh. What? what? Whoa, you make, the, so. you make the play, right? Uh, you should, you should, you should yeah, make the play. We've, what? Six, so 6 so is known for to... premature con uh, yeah. con concession. <laughs> I'm going to save that. Say, I, I'm going to save that. <laughs> <laughs> you did that, man. Oh my I God. did nothing, Jon Snow. Right, he is conceding <laughs> prematurely. I did nothing. You actually did the same in one other tournament. Just, yeah. You have it. Conceded? Yeah, he conceded. Well, there was a play where you probably can go into a shredder and get it and try to get something. Yeah. Or like, or like the standard shredder like dream get, play. Yeah, or like yeah. try to, to get the Murloc Knight Murloc that will actually help you survive. Yeah. And Sixer is like, nope, concede. Let's That's go to crazy. the other one. This, this oh, would have been a win. It, had it been yeah. good boom bot, you win. You have a seven attack minion, a light well, Antonidas is dead, horrible. and you win. Because you're still on max health, right? Yeah, you are for a time, oh. but there were two fireballs. And he could top deck Reno. You know, that, that he happen, should have right? gone for it, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. He, he didn't even use Healbot, did he? He did not use it yet. There's Reno, there's Healbot. Uh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Visul. Visual's got the double Mana Worm opener. With the coin. No, no. I, <laughs> oh my goodness. And he got, gets another one drop. No. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Finicky so cloak field number two? <laughs> Do you believe? You, you don't even need it for now, but yeah, it can help at some point. Versus Paladin specifically, right? I mean, you take it, right? Yeah, like, if it's yeah. offered to you uh, as a absolutely. gift of uh, a symbol, a gesture of niceness. I would accept it, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm glad to hear that, Ninja. Would you accept it, Raven? Oh, do, yeah. do you still want something else, like plus one attack? No, no, that's fine. Yeah. You, take, you take the cloak. Would you like a Whirling Blades? No, no, no. You just you want to just wait for that late game and then just... Because Finicky Cloak Shield Antonia just causes six to concede, right? Yeah. That's, that's, the, win, that's the winning play. <laughs> the ta card text says six of like concede. concede three times in a row. Just at that <laughs> time. Antonia's Cloak Shield out. Well played. So Visual here has the option of trying to get a spare part and play the Apprentice to see what he gets. If he finds a, uh, a plus one health, he can keep that Apprentice secure from a Master for Battle, assuming he makes the trade. If he doesn't make the trade, Smoke. though... It makes sense. Uh, he is the aggressive one. There is a Consecration, though. He has the beatdown. Yeah. He yeah. has the beatdown. And the Spider is not that threatening, seriously. Yeah. But I, I think playing the Clockwork was a guarantee that he could kill a minibot with a ping. Yeah. Yeah. Right, or a juggler, let's say, without having to lose health on his mana worm. So it did make sense, oh, and that's oh. very solid. Yeah, it's a good zero mana card. And oh, wow. So he has to ping this turn. He can ping on top of everything else, so... He attacks him with the mana worm to make sure he doesn't die to a noble sacrifice. Like, uh, it, is a vent, right? it is a vent, right? It is a vent. Yeah. But that's no issue. Yeah. So you, do you trade then missiles? 
I think you, do you even trade? I don't think you, you might actually the four three. three. It, it depends. It depends what happens, but I would probably miss out first. Yeah. Depending but, on because uh, if you, you trade, you, you taunt, can't play right? it. You can always taunt up instead. Right, but you can't play it if you like you can't class the arcane missile if you trade first because you don't have the mana. All right. Unlike so with, for the last time missiles were amazing, and this is uh, well, it's not great. It's okay, you can taunt up that mana worm if need be. Like you ping and taunt up. Right. Do you really have to taunt it up? I mean, the thing is, consecration kind of punishes you. So I guess overall. If you ping the 1 1. Yeah, that's good. Because now, if consecration comes out, a trade on the mana worm, you ping the 4 3, and then you don't have a turn to play, so I guess you're out of luck. But it's still it's all right for 6 0. It's Kalkama better now? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Kalkama down the 3 2, traded the 4 3 into the 3 3. The thing is, like, Consecration is um, good on mana, so you, you're not holding any mana and clear the board in a really good manner. And you force a ping as well, so if there is a minion, the minion will get contested. Right now, you can't play Pyro Shredder into this, you just have to ping it. Yeah, it's a slow turn, but it does let you play, you know, Shredder on 5 with the, the Rusty Horn if need be. You, or Mirror Entity, rather. Yeah, I was just thinking, do you not want to try and get Mirror Entity on, on 5, five yeah, sure, to yeah. prep? Because, like, the way you're going to lose is Mysterious Challenger, right? Actually, I said you ping here, and the fact that he doesn't ping means that he's hoping his opponent doesn't have a weapon. And it's the moment he does. Well, also, what uh, he was hoping maybe that he's getting a good minion, so the minion will trade into it. Like, it's probably better to keep the shredder, but I can understand also like, playing it to just always push and have something on board. Because pinging yeah. was really passive. Oh, well, pinging is I, passive, but what if Kings comes out, I right? Hope. What is your play? Do yeah. you actually play the Draco over Entity here? No, never. Not in a 4-1. Play four Entity, one. ping the 4-1. What are you scared of? Oh, yeah, okay. No, 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 he's not playing the Drake. <laughs> yeah. It's because he hovered <laughs> over it. I was yeah, like, yeah, don't no. play the Drake. It has wings, but it doesn't want to fly. Let it be. <laughs> we, it would be great to get flying at some point. Really? It will happen. Really? It, will, it has to happen. Yeah. It's Flying's called a horrible It's movie. called Hoot Hoot, and it goes with Arcane Golem. <laughs> it does work that way. Well, it, that's... Uh, oh. What an interesting situation here for Visual. So technically, you could ping the 6-6 six, six to make it so competitive spirit doesn't make it above 6 health so that your 6-6 six, six kills it. So you might just go Ethereal Conjurer uh, if you don't want to do that. Find a spell to clear the board. Like afterwards, say on yeah. 7, a flame strike to weaken stuff. Uh, Definitely scary when you like you just play Conjure, then get Flame Strike, and then you yeah you'll be fine. Um, Blizzard, Nova, Kona Cola, yeah, a lot of things really buy you time. Conjure is definitely better than Drake now because right. he just won't run those AOEs. Yeah, a lot of Drake. And you can taunt him up if you want. That yeah. deals six to the Paladin's face if he trades, and if he uses the seven seven, then you just ping that off afterwards. Yep. Conjure like is this. really solid here. And the options are duplicate Fireball, Flame Cannon. I heard you like Fireballs. Yeah, I think Fireballs probably the best. Like, Flame Cannon doesn't really work versus Paladin with... Well, all Fireball's just, just bad, right? Because he has yeah. the mana. So. And Duplicate was too slow. It's better because it's Fireball, right? Yeah. That's the right explanation, not just... Yeah. The, the thing with the Spur part, it does you might want to have it for Antonidas on turn 8. But with Azure Jake... Yeah. What, a, what a tough decision, actually. Yeah. Happy Feast of Winter... winter. <laughs> I told you, it's happening. <laughs> 7 Doctor Boom, turn 8 Tyrion, and Happy Feast of Wintervale. <laughs> That's how it goes. Still, Sixo has to think about uh, making trades. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If Sixo pushes, he sets up one turn, like next turn lethal. Um, I think, yeah, have to, right? But look at the damage, right? Visual, like if Visual has say fireball, um, and he played, you know, frost bolt. Conjurer, so right. So there's a possibility of that, or he freezes your board and then attacks you for twelve and then finishes you off with spells. Like Nova, he, you know, he Nova's your board, so, goes face, so and then... Can you not just play, like, Lothab and Redemption here instead That's of what face? I would do instead yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, because then you just locked out from any other burst, exactly. right? Exactly. And would you still put in a lot of play. damage, and you have True Silver for the turn after, to, for the extra damage that Dr. Boom would give. Yeah. But Xixo says, I don't believe you have anything, and I, I'm going to trade. Like, he doesn't want to end up using his minion <clears throat> and getting punished by the, the freeze. So he's not going to take the aggressive, uh, the aggressive approach, which in this case is correct. And he is still setting up a two-turn lethal, but that gives Visual the ability to find uh, maybe a bit of burn, because right now at 16 health, even though he's safe, he's not completely safe. Like if the Drake draws into Frostbolt, that's yep. four damage, and then you can't attack with True Silver, 
But you have to low thub to, to save you. Yeah, six thub is still in a good position. Like some heals, low thub, yeah. and he has an amazing board right now. He is threatening lethals. Well, not next turn, but overall in the course of two turns. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really that low thub, I think, is yeah. kind of what Sixo looks at and says, yeah, I can do what I want. Yeah. There's no way I die. I'm just going to shut him down for, mm -hmm. for one turn. Like, you, you can even go Antonite as finicky. I have my answer this time. Right. Escape can see. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> no, yeah, imagine. Yeah, imagine. Let's hope oh, not. Oh, he did it. Damn. Uh, is he making trades? He might uh, well, the fireball thing is he the can't temporary. do anything else if he plays trade, right? Yeah. And he wants the Drake to at least live. Yeah. Oh. Two, okay. And before that's a portal. Yeah. Intellect, that's too slow. It's a bit too uh, a bit too late. And look at that. The Keeper of Ultimon could be used to kind of trade the Boombot up, but you can't do that just because if there is burst, again, you're dead. So now he got, he has the perfect justification to push all in. Yeah, but now... You could ignore the Drake, right? I, I feel like if you ignore the Drake... What you did to? Yeah, well, played low that. Yeah, exactly. Like if you ignore the Drake, all you're giving him is the opportunity to hit you for four, but that's it. Yeah. He doesn't. He's not able to kill you in any way. I mean, way. I suppose it doesn't matter when you kill the Drake and have this much power on board, but still. Yeah. There could have been a Nova for eight from the Ethereal Conjurer, which freezes your board one turn. Then the Drake gets two attacks, and then you die. True. That's the one scenario that would have actually gone absolutely all right for uh, for six zero. This is one one now. And we've seen that mage doing a good job, but it was not enough to win versus Paladin. And now Sixo will stay with his Paladin. Let's see what uh, Visual is going to take. He's just going to go. Escape he's, he's he's what? He's, 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 he's taking gone. the door. He's like, I didn't get my finicky. <laughs> um, he so played a card that buffed my my spells cost by five. Is that is that legal? <laughs> judge, <laughs> Can judge. We go back. Um, so he has a choice now between Face Hunter and Reno Lock versus this secret Paladin. Um, I'm guessing in the Face Hunter, he's running double explosive trap, which yeah. is probably going to help a lot. But uh, then, but the, but but then again, like with the Reno lock, you can just like let the Paladin build up, potentially clear with the Shadow Flames sure. or the Demon Wrath, because you do play and Hellfire, do play a lot of AOE, and then just slam Reno and be like, how are you actually going to end this game now? Because it's something that Secret Paladin actually struggles with without the board and without all the buffs from the Mysterious Challenger. They can't really finish the game up. Yeah, and Reno lock is really good at just clearing the boards and, and keeping. Uh, not even pressure, just keeping the board clear at some point, even with the Twisting Nether. And then after the, uh, after the time, if you're super low, you do have the heals, you have all the tools. Yeah, it's just sometimes, like, there's. I think there's a weird period of transition in the mid-game for Reno Lock. You can tell, right, they have the Hellfire, but sometimes it's not quite good enough, and then they start falling behind by one turn on the clears, and then they die, because the heal yeah. is not fast enough. But that's true of most kind of Warlock board clears. They're always a bit too slow in some cases. Um, and what I like about Reno Lock is the ability that you have to just make fancy plays all the way, like all the way. Through. Yeah, you just have fancy plays all over. It, that, that's why the deck is really yeah. complicated to play. It's a toolbox deck, so when it, when you use a card, you know this is the only copy of the card you have. So hey, I, I use my Hellfire. I will not have Hellfire anymore. I only have Demon Wrath and, and maybe Shadow Flame. Right. But that's it. Same with si uh, Siphon Soul. Use Siphon Soul on one minion. If there's another minion coming out, which is uh, not killable by Big Game Hunter, you will not be able to deal with it easily. Yeah, and I think as as a, and you know Reno Jackson is one of those cards that I find very interesting because. From a design standpoint, it's amazing because it stops aggro, but over time, like give it another two years, it will be absolutely smothering because suddenly running a Highlander deck is no impediment to your performance because Highlander is fine. All the yeah. cards, like you have more options for the same slot and then suddenly, it's what like do you if, do? If Reno was released in Max, then it wouldn't be as good. It would, it would be pretty enough, bad. Yeah, right. there's not enough cards to actually make a good enough like, yeah. stable yeah. deck. But because it's released now, and as you said, as more sets come out, it's probably only going to get more powerful. Yeah, thank God we got Refreshment Vendor with, uh, without that. I don't know how we could, could we even play that deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So we are now back into the game, and he has actually lined up his Face Hunter versus the Paladin, which is pretty pretty reasonable pick, actually. That's an all-keep, right? For yes. for uh, visual, I feel like yeah. you keep this entire hand, no yeah. uh, no contest. Against any other deck, you might think about not keeping Unleash the Hound, but Paladin is going to have a board. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Like, even if you clear everything, there's Whoa. a chance the board will suddenly appear. So on the yeah. other side, Sixo's hand is pretty reasonable. So I have a question for you. Let's assume, you know, Minibot comes out here, right? Uh, if you're visual, like, you don't play Juggler, but you play Glaive Zuka and leave your Worgen stealthed, right? Yeah, because you might want to counter something better in the future, yeah. and you should have 
for, for a couple of turns, you're not exposed to Consecration, mm -hmm. so you should have a chance to actually deal damage. You saw the coin, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and maybe Juggler is dangerous for you, but you know that on turn two, nothing is going to happen, so you, you still have one turn to decide at least what to do with that uh, Worgen. Uh, yeah. Worgen, yeah. Well, it's uh, and, and the fact that maybe there's a muster somewhat early, you might combine that with your weapon to kill that uh, mini bot at some point. We're gonna see what Visual ends up doing because that's a very that's a really like a small decision that has a very long term impact yeah. on his ability to win this. This is not bad because with this he'll be able to, to kill the mini bot and protect his worgen, or maybe give himself a chance to kill something like a juggler being played. Yeah. yeah. The only scary part about leaving it up is if a redemption came down. Um, then that's going to be really scary. Or even oh. all the sacrifice. That's going to be really rough. Well, I think uh, Visual found a line of play that he's going to like over the next few turns. Explosive Trap kind of uh, gives him everything he wants. Yeah, and the, the thing as well is with this opening hand of him keeping uh, Juggler and Unleash, it's, it's fantastic versus Paladin, um, as obviously Unleash matches the Muster for Battle. And on turn five, you can just win the game by playing Juggler and Leash. Yeah. And drawing the Explosive Trap actually makes it much more likely he's going to get to turn five quite safely and then have an op option. Instead of having to like force an Unleash turn three just to answer the board. Yeah, the game got suddenly much slower. Well, it's interesting because the slower the game goes right now, I feel like the better it gets for Visual because he weaves in hero powers. As yeah. long as he's protected by those traps, as long as this trap is worth something, which once Blessing of Kings comes out, it's not, right? It's like you start getting a bit worried. What if competitive spirit is there for Sixo? Suddenly my trap is bad. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Oh man, it's uh, so good for Visual that the secrets do not proc on the player's turn because Sixo could have just slammed Shredder and won yeah. straight away. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. And won the game. And this is the problem now. Like, even with Shredder, everything just feels so slow. Um, and Visual will probably never try to trade this yeah. game I mean, at, I, th at this point. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, he's got the early damage in. The thing is, things escalate quite fast from the Paladin side. But as long as you've got your juggler and your unleash, you probably feel somewhat OK. You do have to be very cautious of running into the Noble Sack. Well, Noble Sack Avenge Redemption. That's Everything. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that's force the Paladin to trade, and you're good. Those yeah. secrets do not do anything. But for now, it's uh -oh. like he doesn't have to trade. Can he snipe the Wargan? He can. I believe in it. He's got two chances. Nope. One more. And nope. Nope. So now. Mm. Oh, that is so good. I mean, the Juggler Unleash Abusive. Yeah. Do you try? Do you uh, activate the Wargan first, though? Well, if you do that, you spawn the you saw you spawn the noble sack. I mean, it can die to the to the juggle. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. If you attack in, let everything happen, and then juggler unleash. But if you juggle first, maybe you kill the juggler. Oh, oh, you have a good chance there. It's kind of redemption. Kill it twice. That's that's kind of weird, actually. It didn't hit the minion with the one health, so it may have hit the juggler or the uh, hunter. Wow. Face again. Wow. Three times face. It's this, all right. This juggler is a smart, smart juggler. Like, I'm going face. This is what you taught me. He's like, I used to be a hunter minion. <laughs> Sixer was probably another. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely an old hunter minion for Sixer sure. Sixer was just laughing. It's like, I trained you well, son. <laughs> uh, even Rexar right now is like, thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I trained Happy you. Happy Feast of Winters. Oh, and the other juggler killing the juggler from 6 -0. Unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. And like that, Visual is in a great spot, but that's a really threatening card. That is a Kings. big minion. Yeah, if there's no Owl, this is something you've got to be scared of. Right? Because in the next few turns, the Blessing of Kings, it stands to just stack way too much damage. Yeah. Uh, but we're looking at, what, seven damage right now for Visual? He, if he finds Kill Command, well... <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Noxious, you're so good at this. I just play Hunter. The good thing here as well is because the 1-1s one line up so well versus the Hunter minions, he's going to trade. He's going to he, want and to. I don't know the ins and outs of how much uh, Sixo has prepped specifically for this matchup and whether he knows that the Snake Trap's in there. Well, he has to trade anyway. Like, you, you just can't leave five power on board. Yeah, no, no matter how you look at this, yeah, yeah, you, can't yeah. you can't let five damage sit yeah. there unless you have lethal next turn. Because then you're dead, like, three damage. Yeah. Your power is too, yeah. so whatever is being drawn. Oh. This looks rough for Sixo. So how much damage? If he attacks into one minion, he still have a chance to kill all the snakes to deny the beast. 
Actually, yeah. he can clear. He can clear the entire board with by taking two damage, right? With the uh, muster weapon. He can take one. The, he can just kill the snake. The snake, right? Sorry. So he's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna be down to nine. It's not terrible, actually. With Q Command, that's uh, five for now, seven tops. So there's he's only used one on leash. Right? He, and True Silver comes out. That's one hero power negated. So yeah, there, there are a few uh, a few things Sixo can do if he. Unless he just set, says good. there is no way there is anything in your hand. You don't have kill command. Yeah. Drew, what, what would be the, the worst card? The card that you never play here. Owl here would do nothing. Yep. It's I mean, it, it would do something, but it wouldn't win ever. Yeah, yeah. Right? And now Sixel setting up. He's trying to set up a lethal for next turn. Oh man, he's going going to be... Oh, he's putting. He's giving damage to his opponent now, right? Yeah, but he, ha he knew it's snake trap. Yeah, I'm surprised he's doing this, because now he removed three, but he's adding three. But I guess and technically he's removing one. five and giving three, so he's trading off two damage. But, but the beast is dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yep, that's gonna be lethal. He's got killed by the snakes. Oh, the blood. scientist was a super dead drawer as well. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Uh, if that juggler had only once killed a single hound, <laughs> a single <laughs> hound, the game would be different. Instead of having five damage to face. Right. And like, smorking. Kill the the worgen. He had Anything. five chances. Yeah. Kill the worgen. Well, I guess uh, sometimes the I feel like, don't line up. I feel like this Worgen is like Neo from Matrix. Matrix. <laughs> like, it wants to kill him. It's just dodging oh. all the knives all the time, man. I think that matchup was just decided by the explosive trap. That was the yeah, early draw like, that changed yeah, everything. Because otherwise he would have probably unleashed a lot quicker, which meant he couldn't juggler unleash to then clear the bigger board on that side. So that was really clutch draw there. And Sixo now has his aggro shaman left with the element of destruction, which isn't Probably gonna see too much. Oh man, Sixo is getting a really decent start though. It doesn't get much better than this. Uh, Lepronome into Totem Golem against the Face Hunter means you're trading into maybe one, two, or maybe three minions with the Totem Golem in some cases. And you can be aggressive, so yeah. make Hunter trade into your minions right. instead of you trading into their minions. And that's what you want in the oh, aggressive matchup. This, 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 however, I, both players with a sick hand. It's hard to say which one has the best one. Well, I like them both. Sixo is starting, so he has initiative, and he also find a one drop to fill the curve after the Totem Golem. But if Coin Mad Scientist happens, then Snake Trap into Juggler means that Sixo hates life. Never if it's explosive, right? Exactly. And if it's explosive trap, then the bow takes care of it. Yeah. So no matter what happens, the mind games here from the trap that comes out will uh, will this be. The thing as well, I think Sixo has to trade the Lepanome in, right? Well, otherwise... If it's explosive, you run the scientist into the 3-4 yeah. and then they both die. Unless he waits and holds for a healing totem. Well, you can't heal control. The, heal the golem up. You can't control it, right? So, like, if you run scientist into some golem and if it's not explosive trap, you just take five damage. But that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but you've got, a great, you've got a greater chance, right? Well, you've got... Uh, uh, so you play two explosives, one, one, snake. one snake, right? And Are if it's sure? not... If it is snake, you play juggler, right? Worst case yeah. scenario, yeah. Uh, that's your alternative. But I, th I think overall visual here, with a hand like this, I think he's lining up uh, pretty well against the aggressive shaman. Yeah, I think like visual should actually attack, but like I, I like attack with the leprechaun to the face Agreed. instead of just uh, killing the. It was man. good here from uh, Tixo. Now I guess, I mean, you can play the second scientist. You here, can play open. abusive and trade up. Yeah, that's all you could do though. It's pretty good because if it's explosive, then it's fine because the leprechaun trades into your abusive or ghost phase, and then you get the bow out. Let's say. Uh, but if you go for the, the juggler, to get the other scientist as well, because then you get both traps out. Oh man, what is oh. that? What is that? What is the secret? We have to know. Uh, Sixo would love to know as well. Well, Earthshock will give him the ability to negate the knives if it is snake trap, so that could protect him a little bit. And it is oh, snake. Okay. Oh, Good. Sixo is like not like this. <laughs> well, they might Here all go, go face. No, they oh. don't. Oh, come on, come on, time. kill that totem golem, do it! If it kills totem golem... Oh. At least there's justice, or a portion of justice, lying around in the world. Not a lot of it, but there's some. And elemental destruction against Face Hunter does find a use, and I never thought I'd say those words. <laughs> it actually does, at some point here, against the snakes. Lava Shock does in fact come in This hand. might be really tough for Sixo, because he's not ahead, he will be protecting himself, mm -hmm. but then Hunter will just continue dealing damage. Yeah, I mean, Hunter here, you play the bow, you go face, like, you just keep pushing, and the Shaman is playing defensively. Could even abusive so. hero power here if you want to um, just hold on to the bow. 
and weave in as many hero powers yeah, as possible. Yeah, because that's an extra four damage. The snake's alive, and you're not overcoming to the board either, because you know visual must know six or runs elemental destruction, right? Yeah, yeah. You just you just got to presume he has to. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that playing all the minions does is you stack up more damage over time, or the shaman's overloaded for yeah, a billion. Yeah, I mean, elemental destruction comes out. You've got a free next turn. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this, however. Does this change anything, though? Do you not still have to claim? Uh, you, you might go for the horse rider. You, you oh. still elemental destruction and just play the, the one. Yeah. yeah. It's Look good. at that overload. It, it's so interesting because originally Hunter was so good versus Shaman, and I think Visual is the only Hunter in this debate. It's a very different. Uh, it is a bit different, but still, like, oh, Sixo yeah. just facing Hunter with his, with his Shaman. And Sixo might be the only Shaman in the as well. We saw another one being played from Trump, but there was no elemental destruction, yeah. and that, that lost him really. So many games were lost because no board clears were there. Yeah. Also, though, is Sixo playing Finley? Uh, yes, yes, he yes. just gets steady shot himself. It's not, then it's Hunter versus Hunter. Or armor up. Or just heal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to come back, I need to heal myself. In some cases, though, it works, right? If you have Feral Spirit, you start healing yourself. Hunter can't go through, has to find Burn. Well, speaking of Burn, with Earthshock and Doomhammer, Rockbiters are looking like a lot of face damage. It does. I really it's like that. Though. It's fine, you go face. I think you do go face. I think you want to proc the secret, because it's going to happen, yeah. and he doesn't have bow up. Obviously, we can see the visual has bow, so it's going to be insane if he doesn't proc the secret this turn. But from 6 -0's perspective, like, is there any reason not to? I mean, I guess he doesn't now. He, know, he knows there's no snake, right, anymore. Yeah. He's seen one, and now with the Earth Shock, he's guaranteeing that he removes the Leper Gnome's damage. And so any you know weapon damage coming out uh, from this point on, is not going to hit it. Oh, wow. That does nothing. But I like the, the play oh, from so. He was you not, Yeah, you Iron Beak, right? You just Iron Beak the Taunt. Oh, no, no, no. You power. have to use Hero Powers now. You have to wait. The Iron Beak, like, it, oh, it, yeah, it dies as a anyway, totem. right? Yeah, it's explosive. explosive. Yeah, 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 it dies. I mean, Visual is going to get an extra charge on that bow. He's going to have to go through Feral Spirits. But with the Owl, that's one Feral Spirit out of and the way. And then one bow yes. attack. It seems like the game is still undecided. 18 health. Is not that low. Yeah, I feel like Six has got a really good chance here. Yeah, I I, I still favor Visual, oh. especially after the second Doom Hammer that does yeah. nothing. But Six has a chance. The thing is, at this point, you've got to presume Six O's can start drawing into lava bursts and crackles. He's not seen any so far this game. He could just dead draw into the Trogs, which at this point in the game isn't enough. Well, um, you got Doom so Hammer. You I have a question. Trog. If you attack here, trigger the trap. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say, do you then play Feral Spirit Abusive to develop a board? I think you get Doomhammer on the go. Or, well, yeah, that's, that's the question I have. You need I to have, do the right? damage, right? You need but, to catch up. But he's holding on to the charge, right? Oh my god, it's Neo! Neo is back! <laughs> I don't think... But the Owl's going to come down on the Tom. Yeah, that's not what Sixo wants to see here. I think Sixo might go down 3-1. Based on this, but he could find a miracle to happen, like a trog with Feral Spirit would buy him a bit of time. Well, he still has taunts. And Lava Shock is, uh, is okay to deal with uh, the mana crystals to get the overload out after playing Feral Spirit. Yeah, but it is gonna hurt though. I mean, you do get the totem if you make that play, right? Because you go face, then you play uh, Feral Spirit if you want to. Is he saving Lava Shock for next turn? Yeah. He's trying to keep his overload. He's trying to get as many minions on the board as possible now to win the race if he picks up a rock biter, say. So he's gonna use the abusive next turn for two. Kill command is not lethal, but yeah, it's but it's really, really good. Close. Hey, do you kill command the, the taunt, trade the taunt, and then go face with no. the two one in hero power? No, I don't think no, so. No, you just keep it. You hero power and then you will have um, if you get a beast, you just win next turn. Yeah, I, I think the only problem is you get are you not worried about loot like dying next turn? If you are, so what? You can't like attacking into those won't save you, right? So if there's a rock biter, kill you command take stops two damage, 15, right? right? I mean, kill command stops two damage, but then you don't race for three, so yeah. you're losing out on the race against the shaman. Visual is counting damage right now. Like, if there is a rock biter, it's one off, right? Right off lethal, yeah. It's it's really close. As I said, Kixo has a chance, but he's got to find those cards. Oh, what, what about even a Finley would be insane? Finley would be great. Like it'd be so <laughs> sick. But you probably take heal anyway. 
I mean, I take right, anything bro. but life tap at this point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> anything but life tap. The will shape shift power. is so cool. Yeah, exactly. Shape shift is good. With Doom Hammer, it's arguably one of the best, if not the best, hero power. And we see here that Visual wants to at least maybe uh, use his bow that is otherwise useless. Oh, he's going. Get damage for it. in. Yeah. Because the thing is, with the taunts gone, he wins next turn. Yeah. Unless he rolls totem. Well. Oh, oh, oh man, one damage Wait. off. Right? No, it's even less ten, because he ten, killed the first spirit. He's got 11, he's got 13, 15, right? 15 damage. He's and one he, off he even with a spell damage. Even a spell damage. Would that have been off. lethal with this? Spirit? Oh, this is huge. Insane. This is amazing. Yeah, and. He's not dead. But Visual might yes. pick up one and of a, a billion cards. Yeah. Visual is like, no. Or even Arcane Golems do it. Yes. Any charge minion does a it, right? Any, anything. Yeah. Almost. Besides, anything does it. He's already seen two scientists. Guys, Those yeah. are the deadest draws. This is so close. And the Walken. It and is. Neo. Neo the Walken. Yeah, Neo the Walken. <laughs> well, Neo's Neo going to take a searing to totem to the face. <laughs> and he might not dodge this one. Yeah, Neo, I don't think he's going to get out of this uh, this situation. Second Iron Beak. Arkin Golem, Wolf Rider. There's so much the Hunter control now. Oh, the, only, the only dead draw would have to be something like... Haunted Creeper. Haunted Creeper, if he plays... Juggler. Well. Yeah, we haven't seen Creeper. Even like Anish the Hound, if Sixto doesn't play any minions, Anish, yeah. Anish the Hound doesn't win this. Yeah, abusive. Like, you, you don't want to play abusive because you really don't want to give that guy another reason to, to kill you. And. Oh! oh that's not the Creeper! That's game. Wait, oh. is it lethal? It's lethal. Yeah, it's that's lethal. lethal next turn. Unless oh. he actually kills the totem. He can't. Well. He can't kill the totem. He, 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 he has, has to kill the totem. totem. He has to kill the totem. Yeah. My hope is that Visual sees this. Because if he doesn't kill that Stone Claw, he's, he's not going dead. To. He's not going to. He doesn't want to, does he? No. Nope. Uh oh. But that, he should, because you have he to. has lethal next turn with the Creeper. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to he do it. He's killing yeah, yeah, the yeah. Totem, and now Six is off. No. Six Wait. damage. No, the, the, oh, yeah. oh, there it is. Oh. The odds at this point of the Shaman drawing burn, we've not seen any lava bursts, any crackles, any yeah. lightning bolts. Uh, the other rock biter, there's so much burn that was going to happen. Unbelievable. Like, I'm speechless. That Stone Claw totem, what just happened, guys? <laughs> that Stone Claw right there. This is Insomnia Trisola Championship, and this was amazing. And, and this last matchup is going to be Reno Lock versus Agro Shaman. And the thing is, if Reno Lock That's gets Good matchup Reno for Shaman. If he gets Reno down, fantastic. But Shaman's probably the fastest deck in the game it's at the moment. It's one of the easiest ways to counter that deck. Yeah, because yeah, you just stomp. kill them. It's yeah. the fastest yeah. deck in the universe. At the this universe. point, it is. Actually, like, it, it's unbelievable how much worse Face Hunter looks when you compare it to Shaman. If yep. you're going for pure damage, you pack so much more with the uh, the Shaman list. And with the, with the end game, it's like, oh, you have a kill command. How cute. Yeah. I have my Lava <laughs> Burst and, like, Crackles and everything. Yeah. Where's your arcane shot? Oh, yeah. you can't play that because you don't have card draw? Eh, I have ancestral knowledge. Yeah, come at me, bro. And, oh, nice hero power. I have it too. <laughs> <laughs> Finley. Okay, and the thing is as well, the elemental destructions might actually get some work done in this deck. Oh, uh, well, that's uh, really bad though for Xixxo. They'll be able to clear up a, a lot, lot of, of the mid-range mino, uh, yeah. Reno minions. Yeah, destruction is really good in this matchup if you hit, but then you do want to be aggressive from the very beginning. Yeah. And Sixo didn't get that aggression, he didn't get the minions. He is having sound draw, so that's right. He's curving. He's got his late game done. Yeah. With the la lava burst, crackle, lava shot. Rockbiter is good as well. Rockbiter is so amazing. Versus everything. Just packing so much damage with just simple attacks. That Goldshire, man. Yeah. I mean. It doesn't look like much, but it is. Pick, pick Blood Imp here? Nah, never. Oh, the viewers can't see it. So it's like it's Goldshire, Footman, Blood Imp, and Corruption. And he picked Ghost. Ready for Action. If he wins with Ready for Action versus Six, though, no, that would be the most hilarious. Your Stone Claw, uh, yeah. my Goldshire. <laughs> Oh my god. And this is good, like the brand bronze beer doesn't look like it's gonna do a lot of work, but because Sixo has to deal with it if he wants to denegate um, something massive, yeah. like as far as effects go, like you, you wanna and kill also, it at some it's point. It's a good body to just trade with as well. Like yeah. the game plan isn't to do any fancy stuff for like later on, it's to actually get to the later on stage. The thing is there is a Twilight Drake as well, which will be massive with Don't regards worry. to health. Yeah, Earthshock is usually the thing that deals with it and it doesn't care for its amount of health, which is the awkward part. Um, and Shame only runs one of, right? Yeah, it's Shame only one runs the one of a shock in this deck, so... Exactly. What's his plan for turn four? So he decided not to go with Feral Spirit, just attack the, the Peddler. He wants to play Totem Golem, I believe, then? 
Uh, might just be a Totem Golem into Lava Shock to kill something. Maybe Ancestral Knowledge Totem Golem. And clear the Mana Crystals for the Doom Hammer on turn 5. Yeah, exactly. If you want to go Ancestral Knowledge, then you can play the the Lava oh, Shock. Well, Doom just Hammer. to free it up. Yeah, yeah, you want to deal with Ground Launcher for sure. Interesting. So Sixto is going more into the I draw more cards, I will have an amazing burst. And that's what you want to do. But he has an awful. The thing is, he started with the, one of the worst possible hands. Yeah. No Trogs. Uh, no totem golems, no abusives, even for tempo, nothing at all. And now he's starting to play from behind, and he knows that whenever he extends something here, visual, now that he, you know, his Drake doesn't die to Earthshock, he's like, yeah, you know, I can always start trading with it and get value before the Earthshock falls. It is a really tough situation, especially after the Belcher. Mm -hmm. that seals Sixo it. Sixo has to worry about not dying. And that's not what you want. Like, you want to worry about how do I kill my opponent? Instead of, wow, now I have to think about how to kill them and how not to die in the process. Zero damage dealt to the Warlock. Yep. Not That's even a life tap. Yeah. He's been curving. Well, it is actually a great strategy to make Reno useless. That's right. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm trying to do 30 damage in one turn. It's like, I, you, can't, you can't heal because you're full health. Well, Crackle hit for three on that Belcher, which is the worst case scenario. And now the tempo plays from Visual, play Sylvanas on curve. The one thing to keep in mind is that if Elemental Destruction hits, your Drake lives at this point. And that on its yeah. own is it's worth a lot yeah, of... Yeah, yeah exactly. It's Sylvanas can live as well. Yeah, there's a chance. There's not even Elemental Destruction in Sixth's hand. I mean, at this point, what I know the Shaman can get a lot of burst down, but it's looking very, very grim. I mean, is there even a, a comeback chance here? The Elemental Destruction is yeah, it definitely... To, it, has thing, to, right? it has to happen, and it has to hit well, because now Dr. Boom's coming out. So never mind your Elemental Destruction. I mean, you're taking damage from the Boom Bots. Yep. Malganus for visual here. He has everything. He can follow up with uh, Mountain Giant. Like, right now, Dr. Boom, next in Mountain Giant and Goldshire Footman. Why not? Why not? Happy yeah, Feast yeah, yeah. of Winter's Veil. Vale. And then Slam Melganis as well. Yeah, on, he's playing on curve since turn two. Actually, insane. Can you... Yeah, you just... Dr. Boom is probably the best, but the next turn you might just Slam Lothab and win. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. it. And this is the problem of this, this Shaman deck is super strong, super powerful and quick. But the second you draw, you don't draw the opener, you so you fall so far behind. You do have the chance to be able to burst to come back later on. But there's just not had anything in Sixo's, um, Sixo's hand that has really impacted the game at all. Yeah, I feel like right now what uh, Visual is playing around is double elemental destruction. So he doesn't want to play Boom because he says, you know, if there's double elemental destruction, then I lose my entire board and I have to reset. Yeah. The thing is, that means Sixo is on zero mana. Well, so he's that's setting. Fine. He's just setting lethal here. Yep. Yeah, he he's has still it. lethal. Yeah. And I mean, he's playing around the board clear, so it works. Is this just game? Can Looks he like do anything here? Can yeah. he not? But die? the problem is, like Doomhammer clears the two one twos, but and then that's it. Then well, it's Visual moves Visual on. Going to the top for amazing victory versus Six, so one of the best players in the world, and uh, he did play really well. And bringing Reno, Jackson, Warlock, so he. He wasn't playing only aggro decks. I think 6 was a bit salty there. Yeah, he, he, didn't he, come to the front. he waved off. He didn't want to go to the front of the trophy for the handshake. Oh man, that guy sometimes. Yeah, 6 yeah. really doesn't like to lose. And I know. It's fine. But he won that Hunter game. That, that was so close. Right. It was a pretty close thing. I thought that Shaman from 6 would be able to just take over uh, just based on the way that the deck plays. And it came pretty close. It did. It did. Absolutely. And the versus uh, Reno Lock, it should have a good matchup as well. If yeah. you would just get those Trogs opening into the Overload cards, like normally what you really want to get is Trog into Coin Thrall Spirit, buffing the Trog, and yeah. then you just push, push with the minions, and then you finish the game with Lava Burst, Lava Shocks, and whatever you get. Rackles, whatever Rack it is, yeah. just throw it. It's like, pass the, the taunts. And it's really stable. But what he got was the end game. He didn't get any of those minions. And, and he had nothing to open with. And the worst part is, he mulliganed well. away two Elemental Destructions, and then got them. the spells. <laughs> yeah, the spells that dealt damage. No minions were seen pretty much for the entire duration of the game. No trogs. We, I didn't even there was see like, one. There was like just a fell spirit really that came. Two down fell spirits. There, so. What abusive. That's yeah. all we saw. But we called it visual stepping up his game and going to the level of those pro players. Yeah, the simple mage play was a lot better this time. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah he played really well. So. Uh, Great play from Visual. Sixo played really well as well, but uh, this time he didn't make it. Visual is advancing to the top four, and he still has a good chance to win the whole tournament. How amazing it will be, Raven, for the UK guy to actually win 
the first global in some event. Yeah, I mean, it'll be incredible, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously yeah, the sure. UK players, of course. And um, it's just good for the UK scene overall because, you know, people sort of discount a lot of the UK guys. And right. there's not that many platforms like within the UK to be put, you know, make yourself known to the Hearthstone scene because on, on the worldwide level, you do normally have to travel out to countries and some players just can't. Well, um, so Subtle does a bit, I think, but it's like a very closed Yeah, I mean, well, we look, look at players like Blackout, Green Sheep, Soul. You know, yeah. th there's a lot of guys in the UK that are, that are out there, but you need to be on a team. They'll send you to these events, right? True. Really? So, you know, this is the performance he'll need. If he wants to take Hearthstone further, I mean, this is how to do it, right? Yeah. I mean, for a local guy who attended because he could, I think he's doing pretty well. Yeah, I wonder. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if Arkan is calling him right now. <laughs> the email's being typed up as we yeah, speak. Yeah, it's like, we, we just need to get this guy if he wins. It's possible. All right. Then we're going to release him. <laughs> <laughs> Shot fired. All right, guys, that was an amazing match. And that was the, the third um, quarterfinal. We still have one more, as you can see. We have Life Coach versus RDU coming next. Yeah, the team kill. The and Lothar is going to be back. Yeah, Lothar is going to right? I don't know if we want Lothar back. Do we want Lothar back? <laughs> for, for, for this match? Yeah. Maybe not. No, I think you do. OK, I all right, all right, do. sure. <laughs> he wants both of them to win. But I think he he won't. Like, the thing with this match is that he might have been holding off, believe it or not, at criticizing plays. But this might be the time where he just goes all out. If something <laughs> if something's wrong, he'll just literally like Absolutely. pour his heart out about it. But looking at the caliber of the players, life coach was starting. Yeah, it's probably no mistakes. No. But it can happen. It can obviously happen. They, they, Artie might be stressed. I, I think Artie feels like he has. Uh, not on par with Life Coach. He really wants to win versus him. Yeah. But if he thinks about it, he might put Life Coach uh, being a better player than him. Right. But he had an amazing um, way yesterday, just losing in the very beginning and then actually advancing for the freeway tie. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, that would be an amazing match, guys. But it's not ready yet. So you have to uh, wait a, a bit. We're now ready to go into the break. So stay tuned for more Hearthstone after the break.